guys w w welcome to a cascade gaming diablo 4 season 5 of the video so, so here i'm showing you guys an example of the infernal hordes um please forgive my v voice i had a seizure for the other day so it's uh not the, the best so, so i'm gonna keep the commentary to a m minimum Okay, so this is the first wave, uh, but basically just fill the bar um, over to the right hand side where it says slay monsters. Um, once you've filled that bar, we'll have some options of what we want to do with the next wave. Do keep in mind that I will have a video of the entire season journey coming up. Uh, obviously, once my voice is a bit back to normal, um, and you guys will get to see exactly how the storyline goes from start to finish. I'll also be sh showing you guys um, those achievements that, that I just g got. So you guys will get a bit of an idea of what uh, we can do with this season journey. Okay, so just level 75, pretty basic. We got a season's blessing. It's up to you where you want to put them. Um, I definitely would put Urn of the Blessed Mother to fill that up first, but it's definitely up to you. Okay, now we get three different spires, and you choose for which one you want based on how much etheric um, points you get. So the ethereum that you have at the end of the, the all of the waves and beating the bosses will dictate how much you get in quest rewards now we chose the corrupting spires which i don't mind for the second wave so this one just means that that you try and kill as many enemies as you can underneath the spires but every choice means a d d different objective. So you might see that um, the, the enemies are getting pulled towards me. That this is because I have of an aspect that, that I have on my boots. That that is new that this season. I b believe it's the, the aspect of Wild Steps, so check it out if you really enjoyed the, 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 tele, um, the teleport from the, the uh, raiment of the, the infinite. Here's our se second choice, and we've gone for the, the summoned Hellborn for this time. I like this one because the, the, the Hellborn, I feel, give you way more ether. For the boss, it's a bit more of a challenge. Especially if you're just doing a level 2, um, a level 2 horde, and uh, you, yeah, you haven't progressed level 3 yet. Level 3 is the level 100 enemies, so I am a little, little way off that just yet. But as you can see, it's definitely very exciting there's uh lots of action going on so, so it's definitely worth it i like this a little lot um i reckon it's on par with the pit for enjoyment okay so the yellow ones tend to give you a bit more 
and we've gone for the, the insatiable spires so they give you a bit more ether i've found but, but the, the d debuffs are a bit stronger so to just make sure that you're prepared for the third debuff so for some of them it may be that it takes twice as many to kill to r r redeem that spire going to down or it may constantly siphon health from you so just make sure you read the instructions very carefully but if you're at least level 70 and only doing the level 2 hell compass so the, the level 2 infernal horde that then you should be okay but there we go that that one's done as well so we've got some great options here So we've gone for this surging hellborn option in th this one. I had a little trouble deciding, but I think this this one was a good option. And also, if you do die, don't worry. You do get n numerous revives at the l l the l lower l levels. Also, keep in mind to make sure you've got your potion going if you're still leveling up, because this gives you so much XP. So here we go, we've got our final choice because that there's six waves in the, this level of compass. And we've gone for the draining spires. This is the one I spoke about just before where this you have to stand by the spires to um to kill the, the enemies, but the spires do do drain the health but as you can see at the, at the levels of 76 where all the enemies are about the same level it's really not doing any damage it, this is something that, that you have to pay m more attention to at the, the higher the levels of infernal compass There we go. Now we just need to kill the Stravraglers and we can b battle the Infernal Council. The Fafel Council. <laughs> Same th th thing. So you get three enemies at this level they're not always the same so it's three out of four and at the, the this level it really doesn't matter too much what enemy you could go for first um the maelstrom is probably my top choice just because of those tornadoes um, the flame one doesn't b bother me, and the other two aren't a real f worry to me either. 
And the, there we go. The Fafel Council is defeated. Got plenty of Mother's Gifts to redeem for the seasonal journey. And now you can pick what chest you want. So you've got one chest of gear. You've got one chest of um, materials. And the rest is gold. So I hope you enjoyed that. And stick around for some more videos. Love, love, love you guys and bye bye for now.